melting glaciers, thawing ice sheets. The ramifications of these are enough fodder for a movie thriller, one featuring New York City awash in water. Scientists say if the ice caps do melt, they could release enough fresh water to disrupt ocean currents worldwide. And all the signs point to higher seas around New York and the northeastern U.S. in coming decades than almost anywhere else. To be sure, the city that never sleeps is rarely dry. Every day, transit crews pump 14 million gallons of water from city subways. But with global warming, New York would have much more to contend with. One Florida State University study says sea levels along the northeast coast will rise twice as fast with climate change, putting New York at greater risk from hurricanes and winter storm surges. With the threat of more serious floods from rising seas, engineers are debating whether New York ought to protect its low-lying areas with storm surge barriers. Here is an animation of a proposed storm surge barrier designed by the Dutch engineering firm Arcadis. The barrier at the Verrazano Narrows, which would cost billions of dollars, would protect the New York and New Jersey metropolitan region. Still, any talk of barriers is premature. The city's long-term planners are trying to balance the cost of re-engineering the largest city in the U.S. against the uncertainties of most global warming predictions. For now, the city's most vulnerable facilities are being upgraded one step at a time. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm science columnist Robert Lee Holtz.